Yeah, I confess, father, I confess Cause I've been living wrong I know Wait in the water Wait in the water Children Wait in the water God's gonna trouble the water Now, when I hear things like that And I hear old songs that my people used to sing in the fields and it just makes me think family it just makes me think how bad that we have it as a people if you have to sing a song like that don't get me wrong i thank my ancestors i thank my elders i thank my people in older day i thank them don't get the game twisted let's not be confused up over here but i just sit and i simmer on thoughts like that like man how bad did they have it they first of all they they hiding in the water y'all they are hiding in the water why why are they waiting in the water no 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 they hiding in the water now guys gonna trouble the water that's where we live you know what i'm saying this is the time and age we live in i'm just saying family i hope you think about it and for you negroes out there that Look at stuff like that and songs like that. Ah, oh, that's that fat boy fish. He, he, he on that slave. He, he, he got one of them slave minds and a mentality. It's not even about that. And I see that you have no love for your people. If you can't break certain things down of our past to bring a better clarity on what's been done, what has happened, that's how you know what we're facing. A lot of people like to uh, shunt the idea that if you don't know where you have been, you will end up at the same place. You know what I'm saying? If you don't know where you've been, how you know where you're going? So I look at my people like it's a lot of us that's confused. And it's a lot of evil black people that don't have natural affection to their own brothers and sisters. All right, I'm done. You know what I'm saying? I'm finished. I'm off of that. I'm off of that. Because somebody out there know exactly what I'm talking about. Now, we had a little bit of topic that I want to go over. I ain't going to take that much of your time today, family, brothers and sisters. Just a little bit. And this will be the intermission before the show. Hopefully, God will give me enough time today. Y'all see how these shows be cutting into the night time. Because, man, I ain't even got time like that, man. It's hard. You be busy. You got you to gotta do what you got to do. Okay, first thing on my list today is let, let me address my brothers and sisters in the lgb community now you're looking at a man that has principle morals ethics i have all these things I, I follow my father so when i speak to you about things like that just know that i have morals i have a conscience i have ethics and as i look at this situation uh my my brothers and sisters that's involved in the lgb community I'm asking the whole the whole LGB community. I'm asking y'all to not let pedophile people into your organization. If you do this, if you do this, I will never have no respect for y'all again. I won't. Right now, I believe, okay, to each his own and your sin. All right. I got to I got to tell you about your sin cuz I love you. I don't want to see you burning the hell brothers and sisters over your sexuality. I don't you don't know how bad hell really is hell was made for demons for someone who has been here before the before the forming of time so what do you think a man or a woman that's been alive for only a hundred years how do you think that how do you think that's gonna make them feel down there this place was made for the devil not for man <laughs> I care about you, so I'm going to say something about it. But check this out, though. LGB community. That goes for all of y'all. You know what I'm saying? Please don't let these people into y'all organization. If you let the, the pedophile people be into the organization, I will never have any more respect for y'all. Now, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it alone. I'm going to leave it with the Lord said. If you hurt one hair on his children's head, you are better off tying the noose around your neck. Tying a boater, tying that rope to a boater, tying it around your neck, going to the edge of the the edge of a high cliff and pushing that rope that rope in the in the, in the that that boater into the sea. That's how I'm gonna feel about you. Just like Jesus said, we are not supposed to hurt the little ones. And these pedophile people, they hurt the little ones. And you want them to be a part of your organization? Okay, don't listen to me. Don't. Fat boy is done with it. Mr. Fish, I am done with it. You know what I'm saying? I spoke my piece. You don't have to listen. You ain't got to listen to me. But you, I hope you take into consideration what I said. Okay. Next. Next thing on the list. 
Now, y'all remember 50 Cent, right? I'm saying this like he not around to this day. But y'all know 50 Cent, right? Now, remember when 50 Cent first became a rapper, he started a beef with Ja Rule. He started a beef with Ja Rule. Now, at this time, Ja Rule was only maybe like my size, family. Like 160, 150. He was a small brother. You know what I'm saying? From the out, from the outside looking in, he was a small brother. 50 was like 250, 270. You know what I'm saying? Like like heavyweight size, like bodybuilder material. And he started that beef with Ja Rule because he was on the top. Now, Mr. 50 Cent, my question to you is, if Ja Rule have called you out, why haven't you went and seen that man? Okay, the shoe is on the other foot now. He weighs as much as you do. He is as big as you are now. Now he is this size now, 50. Why you don't call this man out? He called you out, 50. I, I know my brothers and sisters seen it on the interview. You know what I'm saying? This man has called you out. Y'all on the same footing now. You don't have one up over Ja Rule. Why you don't want to see this man? You know what I'm saying? Why you don't want to see this man? All right, I'm done with it. You know what I'm saying? I'm done with it. You know what I'm saying? I done seen you call out everybody. I done seen you call out Jay-Z. I didn't see you call out a gang of people, recent people, Birdman, all these people. But why not Ja Rule? Is it because he's on your level now? Man, I don't know, 50. I don't know, 50. Now, as we go through this list, family, I'm just going to be giving you my comments on what people say. Like this one right here. People say, just because you don't see it don't mean it, it, ain't, it didn't happen. Now, how do you feel about that? People say just because you didn't see it didn't mean it didn't happen. How do you personally feel about that? This is the reason why people don't trust in God because they can't see him. They don't believe in him. You know what I'm saying? It's just like that. So I want my I want your commentary on what I said. OK, we're going to move to the next one. People say there are more. Oh, there you go. People say the more you make, the more they take. Is this true? In your own personal life, what do you think? You know what I'm saying? Because when I get a good check, y'all, the government takes a whole lot from me. They really do. They take a lot from me. And I sit there and I be like, damn, you took a whole lot of money. The more I made, the more you took. Should I make more if you're going to take more? I don't know, family. I'm just saying. How do you feel about that? Comment. Now, this one is the most stupidest one. I have ever thought of I don't even know why they say this y'all with the more money that more problems with more money comes more problems that's stupid as fuck to me I'm sorry for cussing y'all but that's stupid as hell to me okay you already had problems you did you was facing them you was living them you have to get through your life now you got more money so where did the more problems come from are you stupid do you just create problems out of thin air for your own self i don't know that's why i don't understand why they say this with the more money you with the more money comes more problems i don't are you stupid you know what i'm saying i do do you invent ways of making problems for yourself yeah you problems before why do you have even more problems now so i don't understand that why they say that they say money can't bring you happiness that is a crock of shit y'all that is a crock of shit <laughs> Money don't bring happiness. Hold on. I'm happy. I live my life happy. I'm good. If I had money, more money, I would even be more happier than I am now. So what kind of sense? What kind of simple logic does that make? You know what I'm saying? I'm going to say it again. More money brings more. Well, no, no. People say more, more money brings more. Money can't bring you happiness. It's a crock of shit. I, I, don't, I don't get that. Okay, we almost finished. The people say the problem with America is America. Is this true, family? People in foreign countries, they, they say that. That's the saying that they say. They say, the problem, the problem with America is America. Is that true? What is your comments? I want to hear it. I want to hear what you have to say about the matter. I want to hear what you have to say about it. Okay, the next one. People in other countries say we are lazy. Man, this is a crock of shit right here, y'all. This is a crock of shit. Now, I can't speak for every American citizen, but you have some hard-working Americans. I have worked hard 
from the first time I could open up my eyes and see this world that I'm in. I've been working hard. I've been busting my, I've been busting my marbles over here, y'all. Just to have, you know what I'm saying? Just to get a part of that fading American dream that I can't even find. It's like, it's light outside. If I'm, the American dream was down the street, I couldn't even see it. Because I don't even know if it exists. It looks like a mirage. You know what I'm saying? As soon as you get up to it, it disappears. I don't know. I'm just saying. I want to know what your opinion is. Do you feel that the majority of American people are lazy? I don't think so. We are hardworking people. If if we're not hardworking the the uh the rate of people being homeless would be skyrocket it would be if americans ain't the average poor americans if we're not hard working people because you know the rich and elite they ain't got to do shit they ain't got to do a damn thing and they dictate everything that goes on even though they don't have to put in no hard work talk about everybody got equal opportunities look at the elite does that look equal does that look like an opportunity that shit does not ah uh, it doesn't exist. It does not exist. <laughs> Equal opportunity. Who the fuck said that shit? Okay, uh... People say life is too short. I believe that, family. Because as soon as it start getting good, it's over. You know what I'm saying? Life is too short. I feel that way. As soon as you get to the point to where you've been through the trial, you've been through the fire, everything is looking good, then it ends. It's over. Life is too short. I believe that one. People say, if you can make it in New York City, you can make it anywhere. That's what they say. You know what I'm saying? They say, if you can make it in the Big Apple, you can make it anywhere. Now, me personally, I ain't never been to NYC. I ain't seen New York. I ain't even had the time to even get out there or the finances to get out there. But I want your comment on people who live in New York that's done live other places. Just because you live there, was it easier for you to adapt to other places are New York people more harder, intelligent? You know what I'm saying? The saying is, if you can make it in New York City, you can make it anywhere. I want your comment. I want your feedback. How do you feel about that? Okay, we just got a couple more family and we almost out. People say it is what it is, but what if it's something else? I mean that. People say that all the time. People say it is what it is, but what if it's something else? You know what I'm saying? Uh, can you Can you read... Behind the barrel, can you pull back the the uh the veil that's been behind you? Because it might be something else. Comment. People say in America you have rights. Me, I think you have the right to sit down and shut the hell up. You know what I'm saying? People say that when when foreign people look in this country, don't get me wrong. We we don't we don't get down like y'all and y'all be having some evil dictators. I mean, y'all be having some mouth some some money power driven people ahead of you and they dictators and they be killing y'all. You know what I'm saying? We don't got it bad like that. But I'm asking the Americans from y'all. Y'all look at us like, yeah, they live in life. They got that good life. But I'm, I'm, I'm sitting to here and I'm talking to American people on this one. People say you got rights. Do you have any rights? I want to hear about it. I want you to go ahead and comment down. Do you feel that you have rights here in this country? Because the more I look up, it's like we become a police country. You know what I'm saying? A police state, police country. Every day that goes by, that's what I feel like. It's just getting more control. We're going to look up. And all America going to be Alcatraz. I'm just saying, how do you feel about it? You know what I'm saying? I want to know what you feel about it. People say we all have equal opportunities, but we are not all equal. So that don't make no sense. Now, they say we all here in America got equal opportunities. But let me ask you a question. How many people can be like Michael Jordan? If we're all equal, if we're all equal and we have the same opportunities, we all should be, everybody in my city should have the skills of Michael Jordan. That's what you're saying. You're saying that everybody can be Barack Obama. That's what you said. Everybody in my city has the, the mental fortitude, experiences, and opportunities to be Barack Obama. If that's the case, then why, why, why? 
Why is it that we have special ed schools? Why is that? You know what I'm saying? That's that's your proof right there. You know what I'm saying? If this was the case, everybody has equal opportunities, but not all people are equal. So that alone, it does not make any sense. You know what I'm saying? I would put it like this. What you're blessed that you can do, maybe somebody else can't do that. Maybe they get a blessing on something else. But there is no human being in this world that is equal to everyone else. It's not like... America is equal to Asia. You know what I'm saying? It's not like Asia is equal to Russia. Russia is equal to Africa. And individual and people, there is nothing equal. There is no there is no such thing as an equal opportunity. Go ahead, type. I put up argue out fuss fight. I don't care. I want to know what you have to think about it. Even you assholes too. And that's Mr. Fish to you assholes. Okay, we got one more. People say you should go along to get along. That is not living to me. That is not living. That is not really living life. If you have to go along to get along and then you got to do some evil or you got to put up with some evil to just be living. That's not living. That's not. That's like living in fear. That's like not living at all. That's like living an empty life. Let me run it back. People say you should go along to get along. That is not living to me. That is not living. You know what I'm saying? That is not being able to be free. If you got to follow these people that are assholes and don't know what the hell they talking about just to be free. That's not living, but I'm in it. I'm in it. This is your brother, Fatboy Fist. I want your commentary. I want you to know in, in, in this intermission for the show today, I want you to comment what you think about what I said. No matter what it was, go ahead and give me the feedback. Dislike the video. I I, I I could care less. I really don't give a damn. But go ahead, comment, like. You know what you do. This is your brother. Peace and blessings be upon you all. This is your brother, Fat Boy Fish. Now, before I start this show, it's still sunrise out, and I probably won't get into this show till later on tonight. Make sure I got all my ducks in the barrel. Make sure I got everything that I have to do on my plate taken for for this day. I just want to speak about this one topic, my brothers and sisters that pay attention to your boy fat boy fish. Snitching! I mean this. I I, I look at people, y'all, and I be thinking in my head, I be all like. Okay, you know who did it, but you don't want to tell who did it. Now, and in, in the culture that we, this bastard culture that we have created, I hate that bitch. I hope she burn in hell. Uh, and I'm just being honest with you. I, I, I hate the culture we created. I, I do. I hate it. I hate it because this culture, it kills us. It suppresses us. It, dummy, it dummies us down. It makes us look stupid. It, it only brings death and destruction. And it has the whole world mocking us. I don't I don't like this culture, this bastard culture that we have created. I think she is abomination. I would like to choke the life out that bitch. I would. Excuse my language, but it is the truth. Now snitching. Only because of this bastard culture we have created as black people, we see snitching as something wrong. We see snitching as something bad. Snitches, snitches, snitches get stitches. That's the most dumbest shit I have ever heard in my life. Now let me tell you what God would think about you for having this this perception of your reality. Now, you didn't murder that person. You didn't. You didn't. Have, you did not murder that person. But you know who did it. And in God's eyes, you might as well kill that person because you are involved. You are an accessory. You are involved in this situation, and you know the truth. But. The culture that you you giving into and you hold up on this damn high platform that you love her so damn much, she gonna be the she's the reason why it's leading so many of my brothers and sisters to hell, to hell. Now, God would look at it as this because you gotta imagine with God, He doesn't think like people. You think like people. You do. You think you think just the way that they do. You think like them. God doesn't think. Like people, the smartest thing that a man could create or be involved in, it could be policies, it could be politics, it could be an invention, it could be a way of life. It is stupid in God's eyes. And that's the honest to God truth. That is the honest to God truth. 
anything that we would held up God looks at it as the most stupidest thing in the world so look at this situation your people black folk of America believe not all of them but it's a lot of them that do they believe that snitching snitches snitches get snitches Stitches get snitches get stitches. Snitching is wrong. Oh, you a rat. Oh, you're right. But just check the situation now. If you ratting over something to get out of jail, you wrong for that, brother. You wrong for that, sister. You ain't supposed to throw nobody under the bus for you to get out and get freedom. I'm not talking about that. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about people that have seen something, a, a horrific act of horror done to somebody, and they don't want to say nothing about it. I'm telling you right now. You might as well go kill that person because you're involved in it. You might as well kill that person because their blood is on your hands. Your failure to tell what that person has done has let that person free. And now you're going to have to pay for it. You didn't kill that person. You didn't. But I'm telling you, brothers and sisters, you might have you might as well have killed that person. You might have drowned them babies. You might have robbed that bank. You might have shot all them people. You might as well have done all of these things because you're going to you. You're guilty of it. The only way that you could be clean of this action since you know about it is for you to tell the authorities. Now, you could think your brother is a snitch. You could think that your brother is a sellout. I don't give a damn. I believe in what God said. You know what I'm saying? Anything that Jesus said, I believe. In the absence of his presence, I still believe. You know what I'm saying? You got to walk out on faith, people. You got to walk out on faith, brothers and sisters. So according to what God would look at it like, who are you? Who are you, fat boy? What do you, what do you know about God? Read your Bible. Read your Bible. He tells you how he feels about everything. It is not nothing a person has done or will ever do that God hasn't told us about. <laughs> read your Bible. If you think I'm playing, read your Bible. You got all these people who want to separate you from the Bible. They're separating you from the truth. The truth of God. There is truth and there is power in God's word or the word of God. The, God would have never created this word. The word of God. He spoke this into existence. This world that you live in. The word of God. Now check this out. Whatever we put on a high platform, God will laugh at you. God will probably think that you're stupid. You know what I'm saying? He would. I'm sorry. I got to give you the low down dirty truth. You need the truth. I'm going to give you the truth. And by you not snitching, by you feeling that you are a sellout, by not bringing these criminals to justice, you have let God put that guilt on you. So you can live your life PG. You can do everything that is right. But just remember, for you not snitching, for you not bring, you can't even call it snitching. It's being right. You know what I'm saying? It's being fair. It's being just. By you not being just, by you not being fair, you're going to have to pay that same penance that that person did. You're going to have to pay for it, brother. You might as well start living your life like they do. You know what I'm saying? Because your own lack of bringing forth the truth is causing you to go to hell with that person. So you can kiss your ass goodbye. Father, I confess, cause I've been living wrong.